Hey guys, so Romeo and I are actually in Texas right now if you've been following us on Instagram. Lots more places are open now and we're being very safe. So wearing masks and a lot of the thrift stores are open and you guys know it, we've been dying to go to thrift stores. Why are you just standing next to me weirding me out? I'm sorry. <laughs> That's my mom. So we are going to thrift stores today in Fredericksburg and Marble Falls and I'm gonna be wearing a mask so you guys are kind of be looking at what I'm looking at instead of looking at me because I feel like just watching me with a mask is weird. Hopefully we find some good stuff. Oh my god, a bird. Head inside to the first one and hopefully we can find some decent stuff. So this is more like a boutique thrift store. So prices are still pretty decent. A little higher, but definitely curated. I really like these small frames. They're only 50 cents, but they're so chic. Aren't they so cool? I can never seem to stay away from the basket section. I always look, I always feel like I need little baskets like this for something. Oh my God. A 19, 1940s vintage calculator. Can you imagine doing, like, using this as a calculator? There's mom. Tile. Gosh, they have so much stuff here. Thrift stores are also such a good place to look for craft supplies. A lot of times you can find some yarn or even like tools that would be pretty expensive to buy new. I've been doing so many yarn projects lately, like it would be really good to stock up on yarn and these are only a dollar. Look at all this. Look at all these colors. For a dollar, that's not bad. Thank goodness you found something. We've kind of been striking out with you in the thrift stores lately, huh? Cool. You love your mountain shirts and your wolf shirts. Your hats are cool too. Yeah, this is cool right here. Do you guys want to do any like yarn projects or macrame projects? Definitely the place to look. This is actually really good yarn. It feels like wool, regularly $6.98 and then they have it for a dollar. I've been loving doing some punch needle pillows lately, but this is actually rug punch yarn, which is perfect. So I've been kind of picking out colors that I like because I want to make some new pillows. This basket is only 75 cents. So my mom saw a restaurant online that said that they have quite the best the best shrimp po boys in Texas. And they're from, they're from New Orleans, they're from Louisiana. We need fuel to keep thrift shopping. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Is it good? I always want a drink. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> the po' boys were really good. Being from Louisiana, we kind of expected it to have a little more Cajun spice. It was definitely a little like milder than we expected, but it was really good. I like, I devoured it. So now we're at another thrift store, but now we're not hungry. We're really full. Right. This thrift store is like big. It's a lampshade. No, I don't want that lampshade. That's not. That's not for me. No. I think I have a problem. I keep going to the yarn section. There's more yarn. These aren't as good as they have been at the other places, and I don't think I need any more. Look how pretty this angel is. She's pottery. She's four dollars. I think she's an angel, but her wings kind of look like butterflies. But look at her hair. She's so pretty. I, that thrift store wasn't, it looked a lot bigger from the outside than it did when we actually went in. They really didn't have that much stuff. Romeo didn't find anything either, did you babe? <laughs> now we're just boutique shopping in like nice stores. <laughs> you know, sometimes you gotta mix it up. You gotta throw in a nice store and a thrift store and a flea market and then a, and then a new store and you know, just, just to, just to look 
can keep it interesting. Oh my god, look, puppy hood. Oh, so cute. I like this rug a lot, actually. Okay, wow. This store is super cute. Just so pretty. Wow. It's just like a vibe in this store. I love it. Oh, look at these cutting boards. Yeah, that linen. This is similar to the linen that I get from the Rose Bowl. See that chandelier? My olive tree! Oh my gosh, you know how long I have looked for a faux mini olive tree? Hey guys, so it is Thursday and we are actually driving back to California today-ish. Later on today, we're going to be going through Arizona. So we're going to be stopping at thrift stores in Tucson and like Phoenix all along the way. Um, but right now we're still in comfort at a local thrift store that's just open today. Today's our first day open. And it's packed. And look at these plates I found. I love this set of pottery, like dinnerware. Look how pretty the texture is on it. And the entire set is $35. So it's like all of these plates, these dessert plates, all of the bowls, the cups, all of these, the salad bowl, and all of this. I have to have it. I've been seeing so many baskets that just have handles. You know, I love baskets, but I don't really ever have a need for a basket with a handle. Look, we found these really cool stools from my mom's house. Look at the iron and the raw wood. They're so pretty. It's a set of three for $95. Found more yarn. Do I possibly need more yarn? I don't know. Maybe only if they have colors that I don't have. This type of wool yarn, I guess you could call it, just wool um, fiber, is really pretty in macrames. I don't know if I quite understand if a dollar is a lot for this much or a little, because it is 100% wool, but. Looking for me to let's go. Take me on this journey home. I don't wanna wait no Good morning. We totally slept in our car. Romeo drove the most of the way and then I drove us through El Paso and then we stopped. I wanted to get at least into New Mexico while it was still dark, while we could sleep. There, Kinsley's driving. We've letting her drive now. <laughs> So we made it to New Mexico and we woke up to the most beautiful sunrise ever. It was so beautiful. We made our way into Arizona. So we are in Tucson right now and Romeo got really excited because when we search a thrift store in a new area, we just go to maps and type in thrift stores in. Blew up, like there was like 25 different thrift stores here. So we got really excited. So we're gonna go check it out and see what we can find. Kinsley's gonna thrift shop with us too. Right Kinsley? <laughs> a tree this pretty at a Goodwill ever. Look at this. Whoa. And it's $24.79 for this tree. Can you believe that? Wow. Their thrift stores are bad, but not really things that I'm like actually looking for. So nothing's really jumping out at me. Right, Kinsley? Is anything jumping out at you? realized that they all still have their Christmas stuff out because they were closed for so long they didn't get to move through it. We are back in Los Angeles. We made it home. You know, I've lived in Los Angeles for 12 years. I have never driven home to Texas, ever. Like, have always flown, because I've always thought that it was just crazy long of a drive. I mean, it is eight over 18 hours. I think when you make up your mind that you're gonna be driving 18 hours, you just kind of, make up your mind you're driving 18 hours and you just do it and you don't get kind of exhausted with the idea of driving you're just like okay i'm gonna be in the car for 18 hours that's what it's, what it's gonna be i felt like it was so easy we get to stop along the way and of course thrift shop kinsley was an angel she did not complain one time she slept the whole way right kinsley did you sleep the whole way 
So we are back in LA and I wanted to give you guys a haul on all of the amazing stuff. Here are all of the things that I found at various thrift stores in different parts of Texas and Arizona. Oh my gosh, you guys, I feel like I'm just sitting in a sea of new thrifted stuff. I'm so excited. So, so Romeo always gravitates towards men's clothing and toys, and then I immediately veer towards the home decor. But I mostly look in the pottery basket section. I browse the books real quick. And then any type of section that has any like craft stuff like that's usually where I tend to stay away from anything glass or dishes or pots or reusable items like that. I don't really look at any of that stuff or pillows or fabric. I don't I don't look at any of that stuff. Let's start with my favorites and then we'll work our way from there. So something that I was really excited about is I found and especially in the smaller towns, they always have so so much yarn. This normally isn't most high-end yarn, like the Vanish Choice and the Super Saver and stuff, but they could still cost like seven, eight, especially like a big one like this, like $10 maybe. I got all of these, what are they called? Not bolts, uh, 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 I don't remember. Skein, 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 skein of yarn, skein. Skein, skein all of these yarns for a dollar a piece. I kind of picked out the colors that I thought that I would actually use in projects because going through this quarantine, I have done so many projects that had yarn because I had yarn at home and we couldn't get anything. So definitely depleted my stash. So also I always find a use for this type of yarn. It's like four ply worsted weight, 100% cotton yarn. I really like to look for thicker style yarns to put into like wall hangings and we them in so that it has a difference in size of the yarns that are used so i'm like i could definitely use that for something that was a dollar and then <laughs> then i found the good stuff the good yarn and not the everyday yarn but the special yarn so the first ones that i found were these these are 100 percent wool and these are great for wall hangs i freaking love them look how thick that is you can break it apart, got it in white, olive green, a little bit of teal, because I have a lot of teal decor that I've collected, oddly, that I'm dying to do someone's room that likes teal. So a little bit of a gray, a little bit darker gray, and this kind of golden um, sunflower color. So I got all of these for pretty much a dollar, but this one was a little smaller, it was 75 cents. Honestly, I feel like it was a little high priced for the amount that's in here, but yeah, I got it anyways. Then, the part I'm most excited about, these. These are 100% wool rug yarn. And you know what these are for? Punch needle. All of these beautiful colors, look at that. Greens and reds and blacks, light pinks and blushes and blues and regularly at $6.98. Such a good deal on this. Yarns can get actually really expensive. Next is like baskets. So this one was super cute. This one was only 75 cents. Look at her. She's so cute. Like how would you not need that basket for 75 cents? Like I had, I, I will find a home for her. I've actually been collecting baskets like this size that are square on the sides because I'm gonna be working on a closet organization type situation video for my nieces. Obviously when you thrift shop, you're not gonna find the same basket. You're not gonna have multiple of the same basket. So my idea was to just find baskets that kind of looked like sisters so that they would go well together. So I'm going with this like square or rectangular look with like square sides and with or without handles. I actually have a few already in storage that I've been collecting for them. So these were around 350, 399. I always find a use for good baskets. At one of those, I got this embroidery hoop and it's a wooden embroidery hoop. It was $5 and I felt like at the moment it was a little pricey. I looked them up and how much it would cost to get a 23 inch embroidery hoop, which is quite big, which I thought I could use for punch needle. It was still like half price and it was in good condition. So I was like, I can definitely use that. I have been on the hunt for beautiful antique style frames. And look at this this one and this one and all of these. 
so this one is the first one that I found. Definitely it's more pricey when you find them when there's a picture still inside. Um, but this one did not have a picture inside. I paid $4.50 for this beautiful frame. And look how pretty it is. I just like can't, I can't get over. It's so pretty. Love this one. At a different thrift store, I found this one still didn't have anything in it, but I felt like complimented it really well. It was a little more of a simpler design and it was $3.50. Oh, Lufkin glass and mirror in Lufkin, Texas. Wasn't in Lufkin, Texas, but you know, things travel. I was looking for them to be kind of a gallery wall-esque vibe. So I wanted them all similar and complimenting, but different and unique. Goodwill. And I found this one very similar, different um, size, obviously. This one was $1.99. Then these are actually a lot smaller and I felt like it would be beautiful on like a dresser or an entryway. Have a little bit of gold accent on them and they were, this big one was a dollar and then each of the small ones was 50 cents. Got them for room makeovers. And I, of course, always, always look at the pottery. Here was one of the pieces of pottery. And if you guys don't already follow me on Instagram, I normally share my thrifting adventures on Instagram. When we were in Texas, I shared some of these finds that I found early on in our trip. Um, so if you guys don't follow me, you should. This was the, one of the first ones that we found. I thought this bowl was Sorry. just- Siri, I'm not talking to you. Sorry about that. <laughs> so, found this bowl. I thought it was really pretty. My mom actually found it. She was like, how'd you miss this? And I was like, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how I missed this. This one was $2, but I'm vaguely remembering that I only paid a dollar. So I think that this was a dollar, but it's really pretty. It has like this natural like band around the side. So it kind of sits up on a little bit of a pedestal. We were at Goodwill and I found this pretty vase. I just thought it was super unique. It had a little bit of this like kind of tealy green in it, which was pretty. I'm very price conscious when I'm thrifting. Sometimes I'll just pay up for something and I won't, it won't matter. Like a piece I'm about to show you. But other times I'm like, ooh, Goodwill, why'd you price this at $4.99? I wish it was like $3 and I'm like, I would totally pay $5 if I was at the Rose Bowl or that would be a steal somewhere else. So I was like, oh, get over it, McKenna. So this one's really pretty and it was $4.99. That one was at Goodwill. This one, this was something if I didn't pick it up and I didn't buy it, I would have thought about it, regretted it, not been able to get it kind of situation. It's just this really beautiful picture and it has this pale kind of like lilac and deep green and it was labeled vintage pottery and it was $20. But you guys, imagine this in a kitchen, you know, styled, even not as a pitcher, but having this beautiful kind of like olive branch out of it. I thought that was so pretty. And then I always look for like smaller little pieces of pottery um, like this. I don't normally style things with red, but I was like, that's such a cute little red pot. It was only a dollar. You know, when you need a pop of color, in something, why not? And then this one kind of had like a little bit of a oceany look, a little bit nautical to me. It was 50 cents. And then I found this terracotta butterball. I actually didn't know what it was at first, but you guys let me know that it is a French way of storing butter. So the butter actually goes in this top section here and you fill the inside, the bottom with water and it's a way to keep the butter fresh. So that's really cool. I didn't know that when I bought it. I just thought it was like, Cool. <laughs> I paid $1.25 for this. This is a like chip and dip holder, but is this a pretty color of terracotta? It's a little bit deeper, a little more red. This is stationary. This doesn't move around. I just thought it was so beautiful. It was marked $1.99 and then it was half off. This was 99 cents. I got an entire set of dishware from a thrift store for $35, kind of like an oatmeal color. It had a little bit of speckle and texture in it. I just thought it was really pretty and it was like a good base to kind of mix in some of your other dinnerware to kind of jazz it up a little bit. 39 pieces and I paid $35. So that's less than a dollar a piece. That's not something that you get all the time. So I thought it was like really cool. I also love to look at books. I love hardcover books, 
that have pretty covers in the colors that I want for like decor but also have good content so I always look for books that interest me either in fashion or DIY or home or architecture thing or poetry things like that so I've got this Vogue sewing book, 50 cents, 50 cents. This book is actually for my mom and it has a linen cover and it is 20,000 years of world paintings. So this one was from Goodwill, this one was 429. It's a little more expensive than my 50 cent book. I also don't have one of these physically, <laughs> I said that really weird. Physically, it was 25 cents. It tells you all of your like primary and secondary colors and the colors that you get when you mix certain colors together. So it's helpful when doing paintings and really anything involving color because then you can see what colors are kind of complementing together. If you guys haven't seen last week's vlog, I shared my skincare routine for summer, some of my favorite products, and Kinsley had just, <laughs> Kinsley had just had two of her teeth pulled and all of her teeth cleaned because she had two teeth down here that just like were so crooked. They weren't even attached. The vet said they were just hanging out there. Where's your two teethies? Is it not there? Look at it. Look. Can you see the two teeth missing? Ah! <laughs> She's so cute. You're so cute. Oh, one more. <laughs> one more little special thing. I got this collection of beautiful shells for $2. Don't quite know what I'm gonna do with them. So I hope you guys enjoyed our adventure from LA to Texas, all around Texas, to Mexico, Arizona, and back to California. It was a lot of fun. It was good to see my parents. Kinsley had her, you know, teeth all taken care of and her shots because her vet is in Texas too. We were safe, we drove safe, we stayed safe with COVID and it was just a good trip to take and with all of this thrifted stuff I'm go I've been going through and making sure that everything is really sterilized. I'm going to freeze all of the yarn and I already cleaned all of the pottery. But if you guys aren't already subscribed to the vlog definitely hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification. I post new content every week here and new content every week on my DIY channel. So you know you get two you get us twice a week and Kinsley Kinsley you guys see a bar? Oh, you're very cute. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Ow! Ow! That's the second time. Oh, I'm gonna move away from that. Let me turn